today one of North America's uh, most distinguished uh, heart disease physicians, and that is Dr. James Liao, who joins us from the Harvard Medical School. Dr. Liao has had an extraordinarily distinguished and busy research career in teaching, in uh, clinical research, for example, as the director of the Vascular Medicine Research Center at the Brigham and Women's Hospital in, in uh, Boston, Massachusetts. There's a very lengthy list of publications with an interest in heart disease and atherosclerosis or the building formation of plaque, and uh, he's had a number of different research awards. So it's my privilege and honor to present to you Dr. Liao. The format for today will be inviting Dr. Liao to present to us for about five, ten minutes, and then we will all be available uh, for questions of uh, different nature. Dr. Vanson Lee will be very pleased to uh, provide answers to you in Cantonese and Mandarin and, uh, and so on. And I, without any further ado, I'd now invite Dr. Thank Liao. Thank you very much. Um, I thought I'd probably just begin this session by sort of giving a broad overview of where we are in terms of Asians and South Asians and what the medical issues that will confront us in the next uh, two decades. I think when one looks at, uh, for example, cardiovascular disease, um, historically it's been very low in the Asians and South Asians. However, recently the incidence of uh, cardiovascular disease has risen dramatically. In fact, if one compares the Asians and South Asians with the Europeans, really the South Asians and the Asians have really uh, had a dramatic increase in cardiovascular disease. And I think most of this is due to uh, the influence of Western diet, uh, probably on top of susceptible genes uh, in the Asian population. And the other is the obesity rate, uh, or the instance of metabolic syndrome, uh, which is the finding, obesity is one of the major findings of metabolic syndrome, has increased dramatically. Now, metabolic syndrome and obesity has led to a dramatic also increase in diabetes, which is, uh, most, which is increasing at the highest rate in the Asian population, increasing about 50% year over year. And it's estimated, the World Health Organization estimates that in the year 2025, there will be 300 million diabetics worldwide. And two countries in the world will have one third of all the diabetics, 100 million. And those two countries are China and India. China will have 58 million, I mean, India will have 58 million diabetics, and China will have about 40, 40 million diabetics. So I think the, the increase in cardiovascular disease can be traced to the increased incidence of diabetes. And the question is, what, it, what, what uh, therapeutic regimen do we have to confront this uh, rising challenge of diabetes and coronary heart disease? I think certainly one, uh, one option would be try to uh, take better care of the diabetes, the glucose and tolerance, as well as the obesity. But I think when one looks at cardiovascular therapeutics, there's probably no better drug that we have today uh, than the statins. Uh, these are HMG CoA reductase inhibitors. Uh, these drugs work by inhibiting cholesterol synthesis in the liver. And they lower cholesterol from anywhere from 30 to 60%. Equally disposed to cardiovascular complications because I, I think it's a little too simplistic. I, I do agree with him that uh, that environment plays a very major role. 